Hey everybody, back at the northern koi pond here and what I'm busy with now is again using those acrylic tubes this one's 150 millimeter an acrylic tube to actually make a protein skimmer a foam fractionator whichever you want to call it so here I can show you exactly what I've done what I've done on the bottom here is I've used this 160 to 110 reducer rubber reducer on there so the 160 fits on this 150 tube um, I know there's certainly one or two of you that have wondered about the 160 on the 150 millimeter tube and say it's too much of a gap but it doesn't once you tighten it all up it actually does tighten the rubber tightens up against the 150 millimeter tube and doesn't let any water out it is a pretty good seal and on the bottom here in there I've got coming out this is 110 and I've got a little piece of 110 pipe coming out there that I can fix this fitting on which is a I think it's um it's not a 90 it's a 45 I think or 145 I'm not sure what to call it this is a standard fitting that you get from screw fix tool station anyway it's just a push fit push fit with push fit ends on there and also on there so this one here this end what I've done is I put a bulkhead in it and this is a bit of hose that's going in this is going to be the water coming in and then up the tube here is the air pipe and it's gone through a uni seal so I've used um, it's an 8 millimeter air pipe so it's 12 millimeter external the outside diameter and I've used a small uni seal to push through there and cause a seal one thing you have to be careful of is the fixings here you've really got to put a small screw or something through there because this is just push fit it also pushes out and what happened to is on a previous occasion when I was using the previous one here with this fitting on the volume of water and the pressure of water pushed that out and I got quite a big water loss um, obviously coming out of there so this is the input like I say um, I'll fix the pump under there, a small pump and pump it up there and this is the air and inside of here there's air stones um, yeah so there's two or three air stones um, I can show you that in a minute and coming up here if we revolve it slightly you'll see I fitted a bulkhead into the side of the pipe and out of this bulkhead it'll be a push fit on there and what we've got here is the outlet so the water is coming in the bottom coming up here then coming out there now you think well if it's coming out there how's it going to get up to the top well basically that's where this comes in you turn this off so the flow coming out of here is a lot less than the flow coming in the bottom so the water then starts making its way up to the top and eventually by manipulating this to the right uh, size you'll get the you'll get the water coming up for a level stopping at the top there so you get balanced and the water level will be stopping at the top there and on the top here we have a dome now again these are widely in, uh, available on eBay acrylic domes different sizes this one's obviously 150 diameter with about a 20 millimeter collar on it so you can actually get the screws in to screw it down and on the top here we've just got a little pipe fitting this is where the actual put this, this the skim will come off the skim it will come actually come out off there and we'll send it down to waste and this particular device I got and these push fit things I got from Toolfix 
and uh, they're widely available so let's take the bottom off and I'll just show you the air stones so this is the bottom here and again I think I might just put a couple of um, screws in here because it is a tight fit but on the other hand sods low it'll come out so here we have the fitting on the end and in here just pull it out I fitted three air stones oh what does that look like hmm yes well hmm well three air stones and what I've got to do now put the air stones down there for the moment there's a little fit in here which is a reducer unfortunately I couldn't get a straight reducer okay let's put the pipe on now now when I'm putting the pipe on we'll get the little two piece out of here fit it on the end of the pipe here when I'm putting these on what I normally do is use some boiling water so get the boiling water there dip the pipe in for a little while that just makes it a little bit softer and easier to get on and it's probably a good idea actually if you think about it to do this when you're taking them off because I had a, a straight connector that was 8mm to 4mm but taking the old pipe off I actually snapped it off because I was trying to pull it off without heating it up and softening it up first so this is always a good idea to actually do this and try and get it nice and soft so we can just slip it on no problem. Well, you don't. Stick this down. Like there you go. On. And there we go. All fixed on. With the dubious type of air stones on the bottom there. Certainly a strange looking lot. We'll get that in there now okay so we'll just get the air stones down there Good idea. Actually, get a couple of these screws in here. Just to keep it steady. Make sure the top doesn't come off. Okay, for those of you that have never used this HEP 2O pipe before, um, it's a push fit pipe, so once you push it in, it makes a seal. And here is it, some of it on here. As you can see, I mean, I was a little bit confused at first. How do you get this out? I tried tugging and pushing, and, but what there is, this is actually keys. There we go. It's a 22mm key, 15mm key, and a 10mm key. So, what we do is to take this 22mm key here and on here.
here what we do is just slip it over the connector snap it on like that then when we pull down that makes this pipe able to be pulled out like that so if you've never used them before that's what you need if you want to actually remove it after you put it in but it ends easy getting out you need a key okay I've got this little pump here got from China goodness knows how much it pumps but I've used it before and it seems to do an okay job just got a hose going in through the top there and on the end the usual joiner so we'll put this in the tank um, and connect it up and let's see whether it works or not okay that's the pump on Got a connection there down from the top yeah, right down at the bottom then the ice block up there so we'll wait to see what happens the level there has dropped a bit so all I've got to do is go around to this and close it slightly so there's slightly less going in and that should cause it to move up a little bit Over top there. Can see it in the top. Bubbling up. I think it might be agitated a bit too much, so I might have to take the air pressure down a little bit. But, um, I'll stick uh, something in there to bleed off some of the air. So we've got some scores up and see what happens then. Well, there's the foam fractionator. 14 swimmer. The one this is 24 hours after I've set it up. And look, absolutely very little. The skim at the top. So there's something wrong, I'm doing something wrong and I'm not getting it, or there's no proteins or anything in the water for it to take out, either way I'll switch off, so somebody can think of something and think of something I am doing wrong, then please let me know in the comments below, and um, let's see if we can fix it, thanks, see you later, bye.